The AGL type banner is finally back on global, and it comes with the coveted 50% awakenings. But should you summon on this banner? While these banners are good for targeting specific LR types, the rate is still not too great. You only have about a 12.6% chance to pull an unfeatured LR due to the reduced unfeatured rate. You've only got 3% chance at an unfeatured. The timing is also not great, but there are a couple benefits, and we'll get into all that in today's episode of Should You Summon. Hey there everyone, my name is Waffles the Asian Yen Bear, and welcome to Should You Summon, the series where we take a look at new banners, analyze their value, and I tell you whether or not I think you should summon on them. Now we mainly look at these banners from a free-to-play standpoint, as free-to-play players need to be more careful with how they use their stones, but of course, banner value applies to dolphins and whales too. But with all that being said, let's get started. So, let's quickly just go over the new awakenings. If you didn't know, this pan and this hyper meta, hyper meta rildo, it's kind of a hard name to say, are exclusive to this AGL type banner, so you're not able to get them anywhere else. With their new awakenings, they are now one of the best 120% type leads for AGL. Pan has key plus 4 and 120% to attack, defense, and HP for super AGL types. Meta rildo has the same but for extreme AGL. Pan also gives all AGL types an extra 3 key in her passive and super AGL units get a 50% attack and defense boost which is fantastic. She'll also change a random color key sphere to AGL and her super attack raises ally attack for 2 turns. If I can actually go to her super attack, there it is. Meta Rildo seals on his super but other than that he has the exact same passive as Pan but for extreme AGL. So here's kind of the deal with them. Outside of Battlefield and Super Battle Road, you're not really going to be using a monotype team. However, these two can be big helps for those two modes, especially if you're lacking a second lead in Battlefield. So I think that if you're going to summon, the main reason should be because you really need to improve your Super or Extreme AGL box. As far as the other featured units, they aren't too bad. This AGL Brawly is really great. This Goku is terrible. Same with this Vegeta, also terrible. Cell Jr. isn't too bad, and he really likes being paired with a Cell character, and this Boo is not good. But after his EZA, he recovers 14% HP whenever he comes on a rotation, so when I was just starting out, that was kind of helpful, but he really cannot take a hit for the life of him. But when it comes to the featured units, you're really only looking to get the supports and maybe AGL Broly. The others are either bad, or in Cell Jr.'s case, not so valuable that you need to get them right now. And the other little benefit to this banner is that you only have 37 unfeatured SSRs, and 4 of them are the AGL LRs. LR Kale and Khalifa, LR Goten and Trunks, LR Majin Vegeta, and LR Baby. Spirit Bomb Goku is not on this banner yet. This does make it a bit easier to pull these LRs compared to regular LR banners, but you need to remember that we do have a Rising Dragon Carnival banner right now at the same time, so it's good to just compare those numbers. The chance to pull one of these four unfeatured LRs is about 12.6, like I mentioned a little bit earlier. The chance to pull one of those four LRs is much lower on the Rising Dragon Carnival at 3.3%. However, the chance to pull any unfeatured LR on the Rising Dragon Carnival banner is 16%. If you also count the featured Spirit Bomb Goku, it's about 24%. So while your chance to pull an LR is slightly lower on this banner down here, you are able to limit the amount of possible pulls to only the AGL LRs. That being said, for you to get up to a 50% chance to pull one LR, you need to put in 5 multis. Which brings us to the last part, the timing. We're getting really close to the anniversary now, it's only about 2.5 months away. So every time that you budget stones, you should be planning how much you're going to be using on the 5 year anniversary banners. Remember that while LR Gogeta and LR Vegito's banners are incredible, and you should definitely summon on those when they arrive, that we'll also have the 200 stone guaranteed LR banner as well. Since we generally earn about 100 to 200 stones a month, that's only about 250 to 500 stones left to get before it actually starts. So do I think you should summon? Ultimately, I think you really shouldn't unless you really need to improve your AGL box. These supports are incredible for the two modes that you'll really be using them for, but when you consider the timing, I just don't think it's worth it right now. Now will I be summoning? Well those of you who have watched me for a long time know that I love LR Kale and Khalifa. They are one of my most wanted LRs. However, I do have the other three AGL LRs, so my chance to get 
Kale and Khalifa is only about 3%. On top of that, my AGL box is generally decent enough on global, so I'm just going to be skipping. I'm almost at my goal of 1000 stones for the anniversary though, so that's pretty exciting. That being said, if you do summon, I wish you lots of luck. Let me know what you decide to do in the comments down below. I have my favorite teams for May recorded and it's ready to upload, but I want to get these should you summons for the EZA banner over here, this one, and the category banner out first. But I hope you have a good day, good week, good life, and happy summons. Goodbye!